Hello! So this video is to help you format papers in OpenOffice. OpenOffice is a free software that you can download and you can see you can do text documents, spreadsheets, presentations, and so much more. So to get started formatting our documents in MLA format, we're going to begin with a text document. The first thing we want is we want to make sure we have a running header. And that goes up on the top right hand side. We will insert header select default and we want to make sure that we put our last name on the right hand side so we align to the right and then you type in your last name I like to put a couple of extra spaces the next thing we need to do is insert the page number if you just type in one it will say one on every single page so we have to tell the computer change the page number when we change pages again we'll click on insert fields and select page number. There we go. You want to remember whatever you type in your header space right in here will be on every single page. You also want to, while you're there, make sure that your text is the right um, size. So in MLA we type in 12 point font. That's the default in OpenOffice so you shouldn't have to change it. Um, you want to make sure you use the same font in your header that you do in the rest of your paper. The default in OpenOffice is Times New Roman, and that's perfectly fine. So once we click out of the header, the next thing we do is make sure that our spacing and our paragraph um, options are set correctly. So we click on Format and Paragraph. You want to make sure that the spacing above and below the paragraph is set to zero. If you've worked in Word before, or if you are working in Word, then generally it's set to auto, which puts extra space between the paragraphs. We don't want that. MLA says zero. We also want to make sure our line spacing is set to double. There we go. Once that's done, we click OK, and we're ready to begin typing. Always make sure and put your name, um, the date. Today is the 8th. Tomorrow's my sister's birthday, the course, so 1301, 1302, whichever course you're in, and the assignment. So, um, remember to spell check. I'm always leaving the N out of assignment. Notice that whenever I entered after assignment, I just entered once. I didn't put any extra space between my heading and where I'm going to put my title. I want to center my title and give my work a spiffy title. Make sure that you read the format handout on my website, the second page where it gives you the sample of what it should look like, discusses what makes a spiffy title, gives you a little bit of an idea of how to come up with it. It may be something that you don't come up with till you're done with your paper, but your paper always needs a title. The next thing we need to do is we need to tab to begin our paragraph, and then you just go to it and start writing. Notice when I get to the end of the line that it will naturally wrap and it's double spaced. You also notice whenever I get to the end of my paragraph, I'm going to press enter, tab again to begin a new paragraph, and there we go. There's no extra space between paragraphs. It's all equal distance between all of these, all double spaced. And that's what an academic paper should look like. No fancy fonts, no crazy formats, anything like that. The other word of advice is to save and save often. So, you know, don't write the whole paper and, and just think you'll be able to save. You want to make sure you save consistently, especially when you've put a lot of time into your work. In, um, Open Office, the default format for saving is ODF. I suggest that you save in rich text format. Rich text format is one of the most convertible formats. And if you go from Open Office to you go to a computer lab or a friend's computer and you work on Word, it's going to more likely open up nicely. Um, I think it does pretty good with Macs. So I save everything pretty much as, as um, RTF, rich text format. I do appreciate whenever you save your files, if you'll put your name in there. Um, it helps me make sure I get your work um, to you. Um, and also the um, assignment title. 
And that way it helps us kind of keep everything straight. So click Save, and then we're good to go. And of course we can add more to it. We just always want to make sure and save again. So I hope that helps you lay out your paper in MLA format. Remember that um, OpenOffice is a free software that you can get at openoffice.org, openoffice.org. So if you have any questions, if you need any help, let me know. I hope this has been helpful and that you have a great day.